Yep, and for 10 years, Glow Productions has been doing this, and they're bringing you this and many, many more. And joining me in studio to discuss this, I've got Latif Abubakar, he's a playwright and CEO of Glow Produ Productions, sorry. I've got Echo Smith Asante, an ace actor, and also Mark Fradazi, who stars in a lot of Glow Production comedies. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. And it's good to have you. Happy New Year. Yes, we haven't met. And, happy and Christmas is already coming. Yeah. It's in April. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah guys. Christmas. Anyway, but congratulations. <laughs> Ten years anniversary. That's a great feat. How does that feel? Ah, it feels good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does my yeah. followers. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. Because we did it together. Yeah, yeah. we did, you it, did together. it together. It's, Kudos it's, to you. Yeah, it's just that it's been a, a very, very tough path. But mm. uh, I mean, we've been able to achieve something good right. in terms of, uh, we'll talk about branding in mm. terms of audience base and in terms of even financial gains. Right. I mean, we've, we've gone past the break-even point. Mm. And then we've increased our audience base from 150 okay. in 1,005 auditorium to about 6,000 four shows, hmm. two days. Nice. Ah, so we're excited. That showcases think, and, some and, and humble beginnings. Exactly. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and, and this kind of excitement must come with something special. Indeed. So we had to speak to Santa to at least <laughs> go out of his way, not to come only in December this year, but to come in April oh. to join us, celebrate. Christmas in April. Okay, so Santa will still come in December. Yeah, that's yeah. good news for oh, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, 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 no. that's the end no, of it. Do that Great. Do but that you know, too. Latif, you started off, and I'm happy that you're recounting your early days of 150, and now you've grown. And for me, the big worry when you started off was how you were going to penetrate the scene because mm. we had kind, um, you know, that space that wasn't too spoken yeah. about and people yeah. were afraid to venture. But you yeah. did that, and now you're here. But yeah. tell me, ten years. What has been your vision, and do you think you've achieved that in the 10 years so far? Not at all, mm. not at all, because um, our vision is to uh, make sure we have lots of Ghanaians right. having theater as one of the main source of entertainment. Okay. And we know music is mm -hmm. the game, but we are trying to push to make sure that at least each and everyone has the, the next best alternative mm. without, aside music should be theater mm. when it comes to entertainment or comedy or what have you. So we've not achieved that yet mm. uh, because we, we have not been able to even uh, stage plays in all the regions right. in Ghana. We, at least we've done seven regions, but we hope and pray that we should be able to touch the lives of people across the country. And it should be consistent, just mm. like we do only Accra consistently. Mm. Uh, consistently. We should be able to, to stage consistent plays in other regions. But now you've got more work because we have six new regions added on. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me come to you, Uncle Echo and Mark, because of course you've been part of the 10 years journey. And what yeah. does that feel? You're celebrating 10 years and not only celebrating it with, you know, nothing, but with Santa coming down in April. Uncle Echo. Yes. I'm calling you Uncle Echo because you've been naughty, and so today I want to punish you on set. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it feels great. I, I mean, I was, I mean, recently, right now, yes, you talked about uh, 10. I was like, ah, we've done 10 years, we've mm -hmm. done over 13 plays. I'm like, hey, so soon. So soon. I mean, you don't, you don't really see it as, uh, it, it just happened. Right. You know, so when you, sometimes when you look into your, you know, your filmography or your CV or your resume, you're like, oh, I did all this. <laughs> Man, I've come far. You, <laughs> you know, have come, come far. far. It feels good. It feels like, yes, you've been part of a great achievement mm. and you are hoping. I mean, he's actually hoping to do 16 regions. Mm. I'm hoping to see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday wow. theater. Yeah. Nice. Because, I mean, if our... The people we are following, emulating the whites, can we can go to Monday theater in London or wherever, and mm -hmm. it's full. At least, if we can't do five days in a week, we should be able to do three days: mm. Mondays, Wednesdays, and then the weekend. Right. That people are like, it should be a part of life. Let me close work and go and see. This. You know, it, right. it should be a part of life. Yeah. Like you finish, like how Fridays have been for the guys. Like you finish, you want to sit at the pub. Mm -hmm. Now, nah, Charlie, this time let's go let's watch a thing. Let's right. go. That kind of thing. And then we use it for, to educate, to entertain, and people learn something. Nice. It's been good. Great. And for you, Mark? Yeah, well, I think yeah, it's great. For 10 years, I think we, we've done a lot. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so Christmas in April, and so I'm encouraging everyone to come and watch. Since it's 10 years, mm -hmm. a, a lot of things will happen. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now in celebrating Christmas in April, apart from Santa, what other big thing do you have planned for us? Um, Santa definitely is coming with goodies. Okay. 
um, the the agreement we had with Santa is actually <laughs> that don't disclose the goodies. Okay. Uh, yesterday there was so much pressure that I had to disclose or release some of the cakes <laughs> that Santa is coming along. And if you check social media, you see a lot of cakes okay. that Santa is coming along. But it's going to be a huge surprise. Oh. This time, the the entire experience is not just in the auditorium okay. where you enter and watch a stay, but it begins at the foyer of the conference nice. center. There's, 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 there's fun. Oh. There's, I mean, there's a lot happening there okay. with goodies from Santa and so on and so forth, oh. interactions from Santa and so on and so forth. You will have a feel of Christmas. It's oh. actually Christmas we're trying to celebrate this year. It's, it's, it's joy time for us and our patrons. I mean, oh. because without them, Trust me, we won't be here. It's been a very, very, very difficult. Day. It's been difficult moments. So the show is this weekend. Yep. Yep. And what time is it taking it's, place? It's usually we do two, two. days. That's Saturday, Sunday, okay. and we have two shows mm. each day, 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. And the each cost? Day. And then it's 80 CDs. Okay. I mean, for those who couldn't grab the early bed, sorry. Now it's the early bed. It has a spa. Mm. So now we are doing 80 Ghana cities. Very well. So let me ask the question, because usually if we come to watch, you know, Latif Abubakar's shows, you see that there's the VIP section of the, the people who get the treats before. But this time around, Santa is giving everybody the treats. Everybody. So everybody, everybody's a yeah, VVIP. Every, everybody. Naturally. Everybody. Everybody. All right. our patrons. But I everybody. know you don't want to give away what the storyline is. But tell us. Just just give us a hint. Because the, the storyline for me, just the title, yeah. Christmas in April, yeah. is too exciting to just yeah. let us go without yeah. a, a Tidbit, yeah. just the tip of the so iceberg. The only guarantee you will mm -hmm. have is that it's comical. Okay. It's comedy. You will laugh out know. loud. Yes. So, so what, what else? Um, so, but the rest. Then we can talk about the fact that mm. it's on modern day slavery. Nice. Yeah. So it's on modern day slavery that we can talk about for time. And the fact that this man here is a madman in the play. Mm. <laughs> it's a madman in the place. So, Ooh, Uncle Epo. Yes. Oh, you're down. <laughs> a madman. He's a madman. Yes, yes. He's always doing uh, bossu, businessman, yes. politician. Yes, No, 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 no. This time Today, it's Low Brown. Thing. No, no, no. It's a madman in the oh, place. So, sorry. It's quite exciting. It's, it's something <laughs> different. Um, if you look at all the plays we've done, mm. this is actually the best of all the plays we've done. Nice. So if you think you've enjoyed our plays, you've had fun, you laugh out no people to play we just, them. Yes, so we they are out of the box I know the box yeah. and so I'll take a while to get if I pass you pay me but anyway guys it's been fun having you and thank you so much for coming to tell us about Christmas in April is showing this weekend 4 p.m. 8 p.m. AICC if you've never watched any of his shows just because their 10th anniversary make sure you come don't come alone bring your whole family from the north to the south 16 regions just so they can also make sure you are happy every time because like Uncle Echo said every time they're planning at least Monday Wednesday Friday if they make it a show I'm sure we'll all enjoy so let's make sure we're supporting them so that they can grow and make it better for us I have been speaking to Mark Pradadzi Echo Smith Asante and Latin Latif Abubakar, he's a playwright and CEO of Globe Productions. And this weekend, we're all going to AICC to support them as Uncle Echo plays the madman. <laughs> <laughs>